So what, if you don't mind me asking, what are you looking for, basically? Someone looking for something serious. Mm -hmm. Someone really honest, open. I hold family so dearly. Yeah. I, I spent all my childhood in foster care. No way. I'm adopted myself. Oh, wow. What, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. So when were you put into care? 12. At 12? 12, yeah. So I left my, my dad when I was seven. And then I lived with my granddad for five years, seven till 12. He's the reason I am the person I am. Oh, I like that. I'd say I, I am a little bit of a romantic, but I think I got it from my granddad. He used to tell me that when he met my nan, my nan worked in a chemist, and that he used to go to the chemist every day to pretend he was ill, he's got a headache or something, just to see her. And that was probably the, stuck in my mind as probably the most romantic thing I think I've ever heard. <laughs> when, I, when he died, I was only 12, and I obviously went straight into foster care, and it all just sort of changed massively. Like, if you've had a different childhood to everyone else, it makes you appreciate what good is. Exactly. So what happened with you? Do you, do you know? Was it when you were younger? Um, I think it was around when I was eight. Just neglect, really. Got you. Yeah. Um, I just remember getting a knock at the door one day, opening it up, and a police officer coming in, getting in a fight with my parents, and then just taking myself and my little brother away. I'm going to cry. When the police were looking around the house, they could see that we hadn't been fed, it was dirty, our clothes hadn't been changed. I felt helpless at the time. Even though my parents didn't look after me, they were still my parents, so in the car, while I was being taken away, all I wanted was them. But now I'm older, I see, actually, they were, they were just doing it for my benefit, because I needed to be put into a better family. And considering both of our childhoods, you'd almost think that we'd hate family and be like completely against it, but for some reason... We don't do... take it for granted. Exactly. I'm gonna get married. I'm wearing the dress. I'm ready. <sighs> Wait for me. We've got to do this together. I don't even know if he likes me back and I'm like planning our wedding. <laughs> wow. OK, I need to calm down a bit. I don't want to scare him off. I'm gonna play it cool. Ready? Okay. Three. Two. Wow, you're just going dunk. <gasps> so, would you like to see each other again? Ladies first. No. <laughs> You've got to go first. Okay, yes, I would like to see her again. Yes. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> I said I'd play it cool, and there's me going. Yeah. High five. <laughs> I feel like a little teenager, don't you? Yeah, I know the feeling. Thank you, my little, my little crush. <laughs> the first thing I probably thought was with you is that you're very naturally beautiful, and you probably don't know it. So, like when I complimented you, you was a bit like, like stop it. Like the cute eyes you were giving me for yeah. ages. Obviously, you haven't. You, I don't know whether people have complimented you before, but they certainly should have. You're so cute. Can you stop being nice? Because I just can't <laughs> stop crying. <sighs> I've just never felt it's like a proper deep connection. Like the stuff we've been through. I really appreciated him opening up to me. And I'm crying, which is pathetic, but it means a lot. I haven't got material things that a girl would go lovely. He's a right catch. You know, I haven't got a Rolex watch. My van's nice, but. Mm, it's a van, do you know what I mean? But I do take pride in my hair. That's about as far as it goes. Sweet. I've lost 10 years of my life, really. I was just in a mess. But right now, I'm ready to find someone that I want to settle down with. What? Yeah. Excited? Excited, yeah. I think she's going to be the woman of your dreams. This could be me fucking wife. It could be. What would you like to drink? 
what would you recommend? Do you know what the Juliet? It's got the, it's got yeah. the Italian flavours coming in there, but it's still right, slightly that, on the sweeter, fruitier side. Yeah. Right, me, I'm Juliet. Lovely stuff. Hopefully, by the end of tonight, you have a man serenading you in yeah. your balcony. It's my Romeo. <laughs> Ryland's date is 33-year-old Amanda. And what do you do? Um, I'm a barmaid in a strip club. In a strip club? Yeah. <laughs> I see so many lies from behind that bar, wedding rings coming off. It's made me kind of question, like, hang on a minute, are all men like this? Yeah, I'm the one behind the bar with my clothes on. Right. Fully clothed. <laughs> <laughs> I do get approached by men a lot. Um, poncy men, I call them. The man that wants to have £600 on his feet and 30 grand on his wrist. You just think, like, yeah, I need to have this and that, but you really don't. You need to have a personality before you need to have them shows. I'm a proper relationship person. I've been in four long-term relationships since I was 15. That's um, commitment, that's good. Exactly. But this time I'm not settling now until I meet someone who's absolutely bang on. The time has come. Here we go. For however long I can remember, I've always wanted to find that one. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I've gone the wrong way already. It's that one thing I long for, do you know what I mean? More than anything, more than Spurs winning the league. Is it down there? <sighs> I can't believe it, I'm lost. Football is a massive part of my life at the moment, yeah. If I get a bird, she might not like it, and I might be able to go home and away with Spurs. Massive dilemma. This will be it then. There goes nothing. How are you? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good afternoon. You're looking so Italian. Really? Oh, where are you from? from? Essex. Are you from Essex? Yeah. Essex. It's found the corner. Hello. Here we are. Hello, right. Enjoy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm Ryland. Ryland. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Nice to meet you. Are you from Essex, yeah? I am. Yeah. I'm not. I'm from East London. Can I buy? I know where it is. I know it's where the roundabout lovely. is. By roundabout, McDonald's on the roundabout. That's yeah. it. Everyone no, knows by is. roundabout, don't they? <laughs> I don't Hello. suppose, by any chance, you've got a Red Bull. Tea total. I am, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you very much. Pleasure. What do you do? I'm yeah. a barmaid at the moment. Oh, yeah. yeah. At a strip club? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I used to work on building sites. Like, did they all talk about birds while you was there? Yeah, proper. Birds, football and birds. Birds and football, yeah. And I'm football, innit? I'm a football girl, so... That's sharp. Love it. To me, it's important that who I'm with likes football. It's my religion. And I'll be sitting there on a Saturday evening watching Match of the Day while he's doing what? Plucking his eyebrows. No thanks. Are you a West Ham fan then? I should be a West Ham fan. Support? My son supports Liverpool. I've got a son. All right. All right. And he'll be 17 this month. 17? Yeah. You don't mind me asking how old you are? I'm 33. The same as me. You're 33 now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Who's your support? I support Man United. I know, I know, <laughs> but I used to play in goal as a little girl. Once the whole thing was that's it. I, I've got quite a big hands. Too bad. Quite I've big. got small hands. I've got sausage, sausage fingers. fingers. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. In my head, I'm 45 because I peaked when I was 45. Cheers. Well, you're quite adventurous then. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I've walked the Great Wall of China. I've scuba dived in Bora Bora and watched John Travolta in his jet flying over me. I did wave. <laughs> he didn't wave. <laughs> so I would like somebody who, who looks after himself. I don't want elderly. I tend to go for women younger than myself. Because women of my age, they're certainly not physically active anymore. They probably haven't had sex for 40 years. Hello. How are you, Fred? Very good. How are you? Are you divorced? I'm widowed. Oh, yeah. It's a I'm bitch, not, isn't it? Not, it is a sod. It's a bitch. Yeah, yeah. And how old are you? Oh, I'm ancient. Are you? I'm 75. I'm 72. Are you? Yeah. You're, you're doing very well in 72. 72, are you really? yeah. Do I get a little bit of the Welsh share? Oh, you get a lot of the Welsh. <laughs> you, you were in the army. I've been all over the world. I got into a bit of trouble in New Zealand once. I ended up in Auckland prison. <gasps> wow, what did you do? What did you do that warranted that? Then? Well, we were organising parties on the beach, you know. And one night we'd had too good a time, and oh dear. by the time we got back, the ship had gone. It was on its way out, you know. <laughs> I love it. So you're a bit of a rogue, then? Who? No. Yes, you are. God, I got to the ripe old age of 28 before I married. I, I never once... Straight? Was, no, never once in 37 years, no. She was everything, really, that I could have wanted. wanted. Oh. This is one of the f few photos I've got left of her in her prime. Yeah. Uh, be before she became ill, you see. She never went out without doing a, that lion's mane of her hair 
Everybody loved her. There wasn't anyone had a bad word about Jenny. I remember coming back from the hospital, going in the back door to the house and into the kitchen, and, and that's when it hit me, you know, and it was hard. Oh, it was it, hard. It's hard work, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You don't realise how suit losing someone like that can affect you, but it did, yeah. Just after Jenny died, I rounded up all the photographs, took them all down to the, the paper mill and threw them in the conveyor to be pulped up, you know. Got rid of them all. I just wasn't thinking, I wasn't myself at the time. And of course, I've, re I've regretted it ever since. My wife had multiple cirrhosis. <gasps> and, uh, you know, so she had that for 20 odd years, you know. I ended up the last sort of four, five, six years of her life caring for her. I wish I was still doing that because, you know, I miss her dreadfully. Uh, no one could love anyone more than I love her. Yeah. Yeah. All consuming, yeah. yeah. Was your sudden loss or? Uh, well, he went to bed one night and never woke up. Oh, a similar it. age to you? He was a little younger than me, 14 months younger. He was okay. my toy boy, you see. Yeah, 14 toy. months young, my toy boy. That's to be a hell of a job for you. My son has always said it was, he was very grateful that he went before me because he doesn't know how Charles would have coped. I think he would have been a bit lost. My garden. It's got a hill, and we wanted to scatter his ashes there so we could keep an eye on him after he, you know, to make sure he was okay. And um, the boys went up, and they they scattered his ashes, and the wind changed. James came down covered in dad, <laughs> which we laughed. Charles would have would have hooted with laughter at that, absolutely hooted. I foolishly say, it took a lot of training to get him like that, you see. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I haven't got time to train another one like that, you know. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm a bit of rough, but I'm not like that at all. I'm just a normal North London guy who's got a good beard, a few tattoos, and a humongous... Oh, that's a pretty good ass Heart. <laughs> Men tend to give you this nod and I'm like oh oh they must fancy me and I'll take it to the next level I'm like oh my god we're married and everything and you go, oh that's cool no it's not that at all it's actually they're like your beard is bloody awesome hello Fred wow what's going on with all this shirt thing you're just you like, show a little bit of cleavage yeah just like Francesco you know oh yeah yeah, yeah it's just like that open all the time I keep telling him it's five star and then it's four star three star <laughs> two star porn star <laughs> yeah <laughs> I feel like a little child to a point. That's, that's not a bad thing. It's quite a no, good thing. No, it's not. Yeah. It means you've got a sense of excitement about it. Yeah, things, yeah. But... What I'm looking for in a man, I want someone really just humble and grounded and family orientated, who's got a good beard. Ciao, come over. How are you feeling anyway? All right, a bit uh, nervous, obviously, yeah. but um, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I love how you're so excited for you. Come on. The type of person I'm looking to meet is someone who's honest, who's got integrity, sincerity, and a beard really helps. Ciao. Come say? Bene, tu? Hey, sei italiano. Italiano, sì. So you like beards? Obviously. Like you? you. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. looking pretty good. No, but look at that one. No. That's the one. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, mate. Bye, guys. How are you? I'm really good. I'm good shanky. to meet you. How are you? You good? Good. Good. Yeah? Good. A bit nervous, but yeah, it's all right. It's understandable. <laughs> yes. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Nice face for yeah. Thanks. So you've got it. You've got it all going on. Yeah. It's like the the tash, the everything. You've got good teeth as well. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm originally from North London. Yeah. You, you got an accent. I'm Australian. OK, cool. Yeah, yeah. Hi. He's <laughs> <laughs> great. It's the beard game. <laughs> it is, man. Really, I feel left out now. <laughs> Anyhow, can I get you a drink? I would love I think something pretty light, I think. Um, what are you drinking? What do you have? What have you got? I'm um, on a light lemonade. Yeah, you can have yeah. just a clean lemonade if you want. Just something to refresh the palate. You yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can be a bit timid about meeting someone face to face. A bloody old thing when they say that. Just picture them all naked. It don't really work. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. It's just cheesy before it. Yeah, man, seriously. Cool. There you go. Oh, names. Oh, my God. <laughs> How 
have we not done names yet? Right? Like, we did talk. It was like it was like, oh. Roberto. Roberto, I'm Shane. Lovely to meet Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> um, no, no, it's a bit nuts. We're like going through the whole dinner. We don't even know each other's name. <laughs> Feeling, guys? Perfect. Yes, thank sure. you, Francesco. Thank you very much. Yourself. Amazing, everything? Everything? wonderful. Which one's better? Oh, yeah. It's been there. Yeah, it's softer. Which is good to see. So... You keep winning today. I have to be honest. It was a really lovely, warm experience. Roberto was lovely. My first day in 15 years has been absolutely epic. Let me feel yours. This is soft, man. It's not bristle. Because I've got oil in it today as well. See, I don't have the oil. See, everyone's being fooled by your oil. That's, I know you make it shine oil. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you've done there. You know? That's <laughs> Bye. Buena notte. Thank you very much. Buona Buona sera. Ciao. Thanks, Fred. Bye -bye, Fred. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Would you like to see each other again?